because the structures which are pierced by this lateral fascia are just superior to the superior margin of this uh, pectoralis minor and remember this with the help of a mnemonic that is called C A L L. So first is the cephalic vein which is piercing this clavipectoral fascia and draining into the first part of the axillary vein and becoming the only tributary of the first part of this axillary vein there. The second one is uh, the thracoacromial artery as well as the vein. So the thracoacromial artery which is the first branch of the second part of this axillary artery is actually piercing out this clavipectoral fascia there and also the thracoacromial vein which is actually draining into the second part of this axillary vein there. And the third one is this lateral pectoral nerve. As I have already told you, the structure which lies just deep to this costal coracoid ligament is the lateral cord of this brachial plexus. And from this lateral cord, there is one nerve which is exiting out this clavipectoral fascia there, that is this lateral pectoral nerve, which is providing the nervous innovation to the pectoralis major muscle there, right? And the last is the lymphatics from the thumb as well as from the dorsal plexus of our hand and the lateral proximal plexus, which is running along the antibrachium. And when it reaches up to the level of this arm, it follows the course along this cephalic vein in the superficial fascia and drains into the uh, infraclavicular lymph node there, right, in the infraclavicular force.